Dead Space 2 Zealot difficulty for wikigameguides.com. This is your first kind of boss battle. Uh, this dude is called a tripod because his wiener is abnormally large. Uh, huh. Did you nail him the tripod? No. The game actually calls him tripod? Uh, I looked it up. Oh. Uh, so, I want to use a lot of stasis on this guy, and there is a free stasis recharge um, box. So just run to that, load up, and then start running in circles, kind of. Mm -hmm. And you can use those. He'll tear down those uh, beams. So and they usually you drop be some health or something, right? Yeah, there's a few uh, health things and ammo things lying around. But I was so stacked going into this fight that you didn't even need it. Yeah. So I can't wait to make a fatalities compilation to let everybody kill me. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Not on ooh, ooh, hardcore fatalities. So <laughs> that would be impressive. The uh oh god. You can wanna kill yourself after making that video. Um <clears throat> Oh, you made me lose my train of thought. Stasis, plasma cutter, ammo. Yeah. Um, so it takes a minute for those stasis things to recharge. Yeah, that's why I run in a circle. Yeah. Just kinda gives me enough time to let it recharge. Um, and there's glowing gold spots on his arms. You gotta cut those off. Yeah, anything that glows yellow is their weak, weak spot. Kind of like Lost Planet too. Yeah. Or Lost Planet One, I guess. Never played two. So he's surprisingly fast, even once you cut one of his arms off. Did you ever read the Tripod books when you were a kid? Never heard of them. Oh, really? Yeah. It's kind of a sci-fi, futuristic book about like. Um, these tripods that rule the world. <laughs> uh, War of the World? No, no. It was very kind of like young adult. So even when he's dead, there's like a dead baby on his tongue mm -hmm. that you have to pop to really kill him. But you get one of those sweet semiconductors. Uh, you get an achievement for picking up 20 of these things, I think. 10, oh, really? 10 or 20. Wow. So you'll get that by the end of the game. No problem. As well as the audio or the log. Yeah, picking. there's there's a hundred logs achievement, and there are more than a hundred, so don't worry. If you make a half-assed effort to pick them up, mm -hmm. you'll probably get that achievement. I remember what I was going to say earlier about <clears throat> those fatality things. Oh, yeah. They're really awesome the first time you see them. And then when you get to a part where you die over and over again, <laughs> you're like, Jesus Christ, just let me die. You don't have to show this 20-second <laughs> footage of like this alien popping my head off. And then you resurrecting from Valhalla and the angel. <laughs> yes. Rising from, or whatever, yeah. Goddamn Norse mythology. <laughs> is there Norse mythology in this? Because if there is, I'm just going to quit right now. <laughs> Does Seriously. Does interest me? Yeah, so I made it through that fight pretty well untouched. Yeah, I think, yeah, part of my strategy for this um, zealot difficulty is just not even joking around from the beginning. <laughs> saving, like, saving as much ammo as possible. Okay. Like, you could blow through this and not have full inventory on you could everything. Use all, you, you could shoot all the enemies to death instead of using their limbs, basically. Yeah, you could have got, I could have gotten hit by that. Like, with all those um, health packs I picked up, I had, like, yeah. eight health packs, I could have got hit by that boss, like, eight times. Yeah. But I'm going to say, if I get hit eight times... I'm going to count that as dying and just turn it off. Just redo it? Yeah. Just let yourself get killed yeah. and reload from the last checkpoint? That's what I mean by taking it seriously. Like, right. not just getting through a part, but, like, getting through it well. Getting through it well. This is starting to remind me... I think there was an old Resident Evil that had a similar few saves challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember it being very difficult. Not so, I just hard. skipped... Notice I just skipped the store and the... Um, engineering bench where you mm -hmm. upgrade nodes because up ahead here uh, there's a save point which I'm going to use because there's also a node door so you always want to have one power node on you in case there's a door that unlocks via power node yeah. um, in this door it's sometimes it's not worth it but you never know this one is definitely worth it because it's got the schematic so that you can buy power nodes at the store yeah so schematic, you pick up 
there's a schematic for basically every item, and you have to pick it up before you can buy that item at the store. So definitely go in here. Yeah. There's also a ruby. I don't know if this shows every time, but I got a ruby semiconductor, which is worth like ten grand. Oh, so, so that was power worth it right there. Right there. Yeah. Oh, and those semiconductors, those have no value except for selling them. They don't do anything, so don't hang on to them thinking you'll need them later. Mm -hmm. Sell them. They're, that's what they're for. They're for selling. Okay. Uh, so yeah, my inventory is full again. So <clears throat> you can save before that door if you want, because sometimes you, if you get a crappy door, restart and go mm. through it again, there'll be different stuff sometimes, mm. I've found. Um, so now I'm going to go to the store and uh, sell all my... So I got the power nodes, and I'm going to go sell my uh, semiconductors. Ruby, 10 G's. Gold, 3 G's. Move some of the health packs over to my safe. And, uh... Do you buy any guns yet? No, I'm gonna buy two more nodes. Oh, nice. That's a lot. So you have six at this point. I have six, and I used one to get in that door, so... Oh. Well, but I kind of regained it back by selling that... Ruby semiconductor. But you have six to spend right at this second? Yeah, but I'm gonna keep one. Oh. I like to have one on me. Um, so yeah, this is the stasis module. And I'm gonna upgrade the ENG, which is energy, which is how many shots you have. So you start with two, and now I have four. So that's gonna be very helpful in conserving ammo, and especially since those regenerate. Mm -hmm. Like these first. How long does it take for it to couple, regenerate? Um, like if you just I haven't stood timed still. it. I should time it because uh, it says minus ten. Like there's an upgrade to speed it up oh. by ten seconds. So oh. I should. I'll have to time it because I really have no idea. Because ten seconds for ten thousand dollars doesn't seem worth it at all. Yeah. So it, that, I'll time that, it. That's a convenience thing to me. Like that's. Oh, we'll talk about it later.